Hi friends, a very good article. I hope my doctor friends will be interested in this and even those dealing with the health industry hospitals. Center issues guidelines for e-health records. Now, e-health records means electronic health records. As you may be aware in every hospital there is a file for every patient on which details of the patients are recorded. Investigation reports are there, CT scan, biopsy reports and so many. I'll read it for you. The Union Health Ministry has issued new standards and guidelines for implementation of interoperable electronic health records. A move seen as a foundation for digitalization of electronic healthcare data in the country. The standards notified by the ministry aim to set uniform norms for capturing, storage, retrieval, exchange and analytics of healthcare data and information, including images and clinical codes. So when this data will be in the form of electronics, so clinical progress, past history, the relevant diagnostic aids, CT reports, biopsy reports can not only be seen by the doctor who is treating but can be seen by other doctors and this can help in reaching the diagnosis early. It will also help the medical students to retrieve the data so that they can do further research or make their own thesis. It will also help in storage because at times the same patient may need the data and if you see many people when they visit the hospital they can never get their past records. So in this case things are stored electronically and getting the information even after a gap of two years will just take you two minutes. Analytics of healthcare data. Now, especially when the epidemic is there, how many are the cases, what is the trend and so many things. So we can analyze also. Uh, it will also help in maintaining the privacy and confidentiality of such information. An EHR is a collection of various medical records that can generate during any clinical encounter or events. EHR in line with the PM Narendra Modi's Digital India initiative will build a cloud-based hospital application where real-time health data will be fed from all hospitals. Now many times we have seen patients are moving from one hospital to other and many times we see people carrying a lot of files, polythene bags. In spite of that, they are fighting with their previous hospital to get a CT scan slide, MRI slide or so and on and especially if the patient is of health insurance, medical insurance because they have to send the films to TPA so many times they are not given the slides. So if an electronic health record will be there this will help the referral hospital where the patient is moving now for further help and clinical aid. So the same CT film can be shared by many doctors and hospitals and even the healthcare, health insurance industry. So you don't have to get that digital copy of that slide again and again. This will also help the health insurance industry in collecting the data. So they can have very easy access to the life table respect to various diseases. So the calculation of the premium will be easy. Various diseases are affecting various ages, so a health insurance industry can easily come out with premiums of various segments. So there are many applications of electronic health record. Analyze health indicators and formulate strategy accordingly. So many times health minister, health industry uh, ministry has to formulate a strategy. So the electronic health records will help in collecting and collating that data. So once that data is collected, collated, analyzed, then it becomes easy to strategize. 
with the rise of self help self care and home care devices and systems meaningful health care data is constantly getting generated such data also have, have long term clinical relevance and helps the government and healthcare agencies establish public health trends in specific areas the move is also expected to help patients as they will not be required to repeat diagnosis and similar procedures which will translate into faster treatment at lower cost so this is one of a very good area where we can where we should move ahead it will be costly in the beginning but then at the end government and the public will be benefited in large so a wonderful article hope the health ministry will make a progress in this direction